Okay guys, welcome back to another video. Um, in this video, we're gonna do some more experimenting with ultrasonic cleaners. Uh, it's gonna be pretty fun. So, can't wait for that. Um, so you guys know I made another video that talked about our ultrasonic cleaners really good. And that video actually went pretty decent. It got like 500 views. I mean, it's at 600 right now after what it's at. But um, anyways, it did pretty good. And um, it's not really that great of a video though. It didn't really show a whole lot. Um, so it didn't do a whole lot. Um, but it did show that they do work. And I was also using gas, um, which gas isn't the best idea to use. So don't go around using gas. But um, anyways, what I'm gonna be doing today is I got a few different things here. It looks like, I think it's a spark plug wrench. Pretty dirty and stuff. Got this, got an old uh, Chinese pit bike, Teo Teo carburetor. That's actually off a Chinese four wheeler. That's pretty disgusting. And I got these two gears off a KZ 400 motorcycle starter. Um, so they're pretty, they're pretty nasty too. And then, what else are I gonna, okay, I think that's it. Um, and so anyways, so I've been using, I've been using Evaporust for quite a bit with my ultrasonic cleaner. Um, I bought this for, oh, I think it was around 20 or 25 bucks for this, for about a gallon of it. Um, works pretty good. You can also let the stuff just soak, or you can just let the parts just kind of sit in it and it'll, it'll, you know, It'll get, take all the rust off and stuff, but I used it in the ultrasonic cleaner because I heard that it works pretty good. And it sure as heck does. Um, I have cleaned multiple things with it here. I'll probably include some pictures right here. And then also this carburetor, rubber carburetor. Um, I cleaned it up, look how nice that looks. It looked absolutely horrible before. Um, so I mean, it's not perfect, but it's pretty darn good for what you can get. The float bowl isn't perfect, but all the nasty stuff's out of it, so nothing's clogged or anything. Looks pretty darn nice. I have a couple other carburetors laying in there. And this thing's pretty clean too. I need to work on the choke blades a little bit more, but other than that, that looks 10 times better what it used to look like. And that carburetor was sitting outside for 30 years in a car. So with no air filter on it. So that looks pretty darn nice for that. Um, then there's not really much other things that I've just kind of used around here. Uh, mostly just rubber parts, rubber carburetors. But anyway, so I've been using this stuff for quite a bit now. And, uh, I try. This is the old um, Evaporust that I used. Um, the Evaporust in here, it's really uh, it's turned this color from all the dirt. So I'm experimenting with some uh, random, really old, rusty wrenches and stuff to see what really happens, see if it'll change it, just sit soaking in it. But that's not the main purpose of this video. Um, so I guess I'll get to it. So we have Evaporust, and I want to see if that versus this stuff is the best. This is called Mean Green Pine Power. It's basically an off-brand like Pine Soul. Um, I think from what I've saw, um, Pine Soul, this is about a dollar and 11 cents at Menards and you get 11% off that's going on right now. So it's pretty cheap. And then, um, the Pine Soul was like $5 for a little, for a can a little bigger than this. So this is a better deal. Went with this deal. Um, wanted to see what it would do and also bought some PD Blaster oil out of it. So, cause I don't have any of that kind of stuff. Um, so here's my old shot in a cleaner. I guess we'll get to the specifications on that. It's a Vel Velour, I'm pretty sure. Um, 3.2 liter ultrasonic cleaner. My parent, my parents got it for me for Christmas. Um, it was on eBay, um, like around probably 60 or 70 bucks. So there's some old vapor rust in there. Um, it's been sitting there for a while. That's why it looks like that. Cause I haven't used ultrasonic cleaner for a couple weeks. So it's been kind of sitting in there. So I think what we're going to do for our first test is we're going to use, um, a vapor rust and see what happens there. And then somehow I'm going to dump all that out into some kind of container or bucket or something. And then I'm going to put the mean green in. And somehow I'm going to have to separate that. I don't know how, I'm going to, how this is going to work. Or I just dump the old fat rust into here. I don't have to see what I want to do yet. Uh, but I definitely don't want to reuse this stuff. I noticed that this stuff wasn't. After you use it about 10 times or so in the ultrasonic cleaner, it starts getting like, it turns like this. And this doesn't do that good in the ultrasonic cleaner. So I'm just going to let it use as like a parts um, washer type thing. So I guess what I'm hoping to do here is I'm going to split this carburetor open and you notice how it's pretty nasty and you see like right there's nasty and right there on the football's nasty. So I'm going to split it open and one side is going to go one, one side, the football, whether, or the top part is going to go like this might go on the, um, Vepros and this might go on the mean green. So it just kind of depends. And this, I'm going to put it halfway in and then flip it over to the other side for the other, uh, degreaser or whatever. And then for the gears, I'm just going to put either side in. So we're gonna try out all that, and um, I guess I'll get to it. I'll split this carburetor open, 
put this in there and then put one of these gears in there and then i'll show you guys when all that happens and later on show you guys the results okay guys so just split the carburetor part um the top half is in here with the football and then this this doodad is in here and uh and then the gears in there and other gears up here and i guess i'm going to turn this guy on um and then turn this guy on and then we will be ready to show you guys the results i'm going to put on there for about 30 minutes and turn the heat up to about 25 to 30 degrees celsius and i guess we'll get to it oh guys hope you guys can see that it's not flashing too bad but um so i got set to 30 degrees celsius just probably around like i like 90 degrees fahrenheit i don't know i don't know these things it's actually at 12 degrees right now um and then just probably around the temperature of probably about 50 degrees i got set for 30 minutes got the heat on let's go and see you guys when the time hits zero i guess let's see what happens oh right, you guys it just ended it's exactly at 30 degrees celsius so i'm gonna turn this bad boy off link and then clear off some space here and let's see what happened here let me get down get a red or actually i'll just set this down just drop all the stuff off it. well definitely did something that's the air compressor making noises so it does every now and then Okay, let's let that drippy drop. And then the last one is the starter thing. One second, guys, sorry. Okay, let us get a rag jack right here. Let us see what these look like. Get you guys up. You guys can there you go okay we dry these bad boys off of here definitely a difference in that one whoa this one has letters on it uh, you couldn't even tell that before this spark plug wrench had letters on it Let's look at the carburetor. Oops, sorry guys. I just moved you guys a little bit. Oh yeah, it took off all the zinc coating off the choke arm. That's interesting. It evaporated. Um, I forgot that it could do that. I'm just gonna scrub this guy's off, turn you guys off, turn you guys back on. Oh okay, guys, definitely see a difference. Um here's the gear and pepper's meowing. And here's the old gear. Pretty rusty. Pepper! Shh. He's hungry. Anyways, here's the difference from this to that. And look at this, you guys. Look at the markings right there. It says one and or one third number three twenty over thirty two made in USA a p a p a co something company. That's pretty awesome. And the carburetor came out looking pretty good. Um that would be really hard to take off that stuff down there. Um and that right there would be really hard to take off. So that looks pretty darn good. Um now I'm gonna figure out a way where to put that that stuff at. And then we we'll get some pine soul out or pine power, mean green pow pine power, and then put the rest of the stuff in it. And maybe what I'll do just for just for laughs is to put these parts back in there and see what happens. I'm um, just curious to see if these look really good compared to it. I'm um, just curious about that. So I guess we'll get this thing situated and I'll show you guys when that happens. Okay, right, guys. So just took all the uh, the evaporust out. It's right in there. Looks pretty dirty, <clears throat> pretty nasty, and also discovered some parts in there. That I didn't know were in there, such as this rubber carburetor fuel nozzle and 
And uh, this dude, Dad, they look really clean, especially this one. It's crazy how clean that got. But anyways, <clears throat> well, the next thing. This one's actually see-through, too, which I kind of like a little bit a lot better. So I can actually see what's in there. And the problem was, I didn't have enough of this stuff. It, only, it took up about, about two-thirds of it. or No, a little more than that. Maybe, like, two-thirds. Maybe, like, five-sixths of it. Um, so I need just a little bit more. Um, so I put some water in there to dilute it or whatever. And then if I know if this works really good, then I know that full-on pine or pine power would be amazing. Um, but I don't even know how this stuff works. So I guess we're going to turn this bad boy on. And uh, to all the correct settings, and you plug it back in. Since I also washed out, washed it all out. Let's see here. Is that all the settings I want? On. Boom, here we go. Okay, guys, I'll be back with you guys in 30 minutes. Okay, guys, it's time to take it out. Um, I want to take it out and show you guys what they look like. And uh, yeah, we'll get to it. Alright, guys, final results. Um, so it's all done. Um, I'll go over each part. First, I'll go over with this thing first. Um, I'll come out in the sunlight here. It's getting darker out at six o'clock. But, um, okay, so this is the part that was in the Vaporust, and this is the part that was in the Pine Solar Mean Green. Um, I definitely can see a little bit of a difference. I would probably have to say the Mean Green one on this. Um, like right there, you can see all the rust right there. There's like no rust right there. So, that right there is pretty even, that side is pretty even, but just a few sides where it did a lot, did, did, just didn't do as much. So I'm going to put this end back in the pine sole and see what happened to it and see what will happen. Um, so we'll do that. And then for the football, this is the one that was in, the, or not pine sole, this is, in, this is the one that was in the mean green. Um, and if I ever say pine sole, just know that I mean mean green, basically the same thing. This came out looking really sharp. Um, I did do a little bit of WD, uh, uh, steel wool, did clean it up a little bit, made it look a little bit sharper. Um, but I'll definitely say it looks really good for a dollar. <laughs> um, I bet I could polish on that a little bit more and get it a little bit better. Um, and then here is the, uh, these guys right here. The... The left one is the pine sole, and that one's the evaporust. Wow. I I thought whenever I was looking at it, I'm like, wow, the pine, the pine, the mean green totally failed. I'm like, wow, it didn't even get off all the stuff. But look at this, seal shiny that is. Look at that one. That one didn't get any of the shiny off. The pine sole totally won in that comparison. You can see the shiny tiny trying to peek through, but it's not at all even. And look at the teeth too. Wow. I didn't even notice that before. I could even shiny. Okay. Well, I'm sorry guys. I popped you guys. Wow. That was smart. Oh well. I didn't break you guys. <laughs> Didn't have a case on. But so that's an obvious difference. And then for this guy. This was kind of hard. I couldn't really steal wool all that. So kind of hard to tell but i want to put this in the pi pine sole too and see if i can get all that gunk off of there see if it'll wipe off maybe easier especially that right there but it did pretty good though other than that so i want to put these things back in there and see what will happen um all the things that i put in the evaporust and put them in the pine sole and it looks pretty dark orange you guys you guys saw what it was before it was like it was like clear orange and now it looks like that so i guess i'll put these things back in there the parts that were in the evaporust now, have these changed? Uh, not a whole lot. Maybe a little bit there, but... Um, so, yeah, so I guess we'll get back to it and show you guys what happens next. Okay, guys, so... Just took the stuff out, got it all dried off, and here are the results. So, it definitely helped a little bit on this side. This is the side that the vapor rusted, and I just did it with the uh, mean green. It definitely did a little bit. Not a whole lot, but definitely did a little bit. Like, that is, like... I can actually read that now. It says one and one third, um, number three, 29 over 38, I think it says, or 32, main USA, Ape, Ape Co, APCO, Mossberg Company. So I can actually read the bottom statement now. Still not perfect. Um, a wire wheel would be the way to go on this um, wire brush, but they're pretty darn good though for metal. Um, and then this guy. 
Let's see, which one was he again? It did a little bit better with this guy. This guy is just not, he's not the shiny one. So, definitely, I definitely see a little bit of improvement though. So, definitely better. Um, and, the, and then this thing, I put this thing in there, this brake bleeder screw for my 1991 Honda Prelude, um, SI. And this thing was completely rusted up and I couldn't get it to bleed through this. And so I had to buy a new one. But anyways, this is the old one. And I, I had it in, I tried gasoline in the ultrasonic cleaner, which don't do that. It didn't, nothing really changed. I tried, you know, the Vaporous, nothing really changed. Well, with this pine sole, look at this. The tip is shiny, kind of. And the threads are getting way, way better. It never looked like that before. That is a drastic change. This thing was heavily rusted. So that is awesome. So this stuff definitely works. And the carburetor looks a lot better too. Um, there's a little bit of gunk down there, but I think with some steel wool, I can get it off. Um, it seems like with the with the mean green, it seems like I can get a lot of this stuff off way easier with, the, with uh, steel wool. With Evaporust, with that, you know, that different coloration on there and the grease, it wouldn't come off with steel wool, but it seems like the mean green like loosens something up and it wants to come off the steel wool. So it looks a lot better overall. Like look at that change right there. You can see where it's shiny right there. That's from the steel wool. So a little more polishing. This cardboard look absolutely great, but it's so tiny it's kind of hard to get in those small pieces, small places. So that's pretty awesome. So I don't think I have anything else really in there for now. Um, but I guess maybe I'll, maybe I'll show you guys a sneak peek of what that looks like. I'm not gonna make a video on that, but um I guess this is the video, and I guess I would probably say, you guys, it depends on what you guys think, but I would have to say Mean Green is probably the winner here. Um, first of all, it was only a dollar and eleven cents at Menards. I don't know if it was on sale or something, but that's all it was for this. And yeah, for a 3.2 liter um, ultrasonic cleaner, you probably you need like two of those. Um, that's just water, and like half, like almost half of that amount of pine, of Mean Green pine power in there is water, half of that. Um, because I didn't have enough pine power, mean green pine power. So that's pretty impressive. If I had straight mean green pine power, it'd be probably way insane. So I would have to say this Evaporust is probably, I'm not buying any more of it. It was way overpriced. It was like, even for a little quart thing, it was like $8. So I'm sticking with the mean green stuff at Menards. I'm going to be getting, I'm going to be stocking up on that. And it makes the garage smell absolutely awesome. Like before, it smelled kind of crappy with the Vaporous, but now it smells actually pretty... It smells... Right once I walk to the garage, I'm like, whoa, it smells actually really good. So it's pretty darn cool. Um, and so we'll see. I might put some parts in there just to soak for now with the ultrasonic cleaner not running, just for the fun of it, to see what happens with it soaking. Just kind of sitting in there and soaking. Um, but I have to say, it's definitely the clear winner. Um, and maybe I'll put some other parts in there. Maybe I'll do some... I need to be doing some Solix carburetors to have some extra Solix carburetors laying around in my air build. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and if you guys made it this far, thank you a bunch for making it this far. Um, hopefully this video goes kind of viral, which it probably won't. <laughs> but um, if you guys are new, please subscribe. I have lots of projects. I have four Opal GTs. Um, I have a Honda Prelude. I have a dirt bike over there, an old vintage dirt bike, a vintage snowmobile, and just all kinds of other crap. And... I'm hoping to do some will it starts maybe this summer and spring maybe um that'll be pretty fun um might check out some barn finds that i know that have some pretty rare cars in there yeah i can go look at those and maybe do some restoration projects on the uh opals and then on my dirt bike too maybe so i have lots of stuff planned we get my license here really quick here so i'll be able to drive places um so pretty darn excited um so yeah so i guess what we'll do <clears throat> is um I guess I'll be done here, stop talking, and if you guys enjoyed this video, you guys know what to do, hit that subscribe button, um, and stick around for other episodes, and I guess we'll see you guys next time, and if you guys like this video, um, please like and subscribe, and see you guys next time, thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, see you updated for other videos, see you guys next time.